previously on pure red nuzlocke. Anyways, we weaken the Clefairy with B drill and then we try to capture it. True after Wild Sentry, it finally levels up. It is now level 20. Okay, I sent Mankey to be sacrificed. But yeah, still hopeless against Gyarados. Anyway, we are over leveled. Maybe this battle was designed to be before Misty. Real. One more try. Third time is the charm. Yeah! Alright, what did this kid want? Trade a Voltorb for Tangela. What are these kids? Underground Fight Club? Oh, cool kid. I hate cool kids. Three Calcium. That's awesome. Onyx for Ghastly, huh? Okay, let's go into Diglett Cave and try to capture a Dug Trio. We use a Repel so we don't encounter any Diglets. We walk around. And here it is! I always thought that this was too strong for this point in the game. Anyways, it's weak, but it's very hard to catch. I think we were supposed to have brought more than just 6 Pokeballs here. Hmm. Okay, last chance. Damn it. Okay, couldn't get it. Too bad. Would be pretty good against Surge. We go into SSN. And we battle all of the NPCs. Ooh, a protein. A few of their Pokemon are different than usual. Like this gentleman, for example. He has his Growlithe, but he also has a Dratini. Okay, let's see if this is still TM8. And if TM8 is still Body Slam, because Body Slam is just awesome. Okay, we get by the youngster with the Nidorino. Body slam! Yeah! Let's give it a Charmeleon! And I wonder if this item behind the gentleman is still a rare candy. Oh, he has a poly ball. Should be pretty easy for Gyarados. If it snaps out of confusion. There you go. Ponyta is uh, trivial. And it is a rare candy, cool. We go back to the Pokemon Center to heal because it's time for rival number 3. Alright, let's see. He opens with Radicate. Okay, Gyarados takes care of that, no problem. A Porygon. That's so weird. Oh my god, what the hell was that try attack Got Ascending Charmeleon. At least it's not very effective against fire. I try Heat Rush. Jeez, this is... Oh my god, it's... It just won't die. Ah, stupid Hyper Potion. Let's just sacrifice Clefable. Maybe Beedrill? Stupid try attack is probably super effective against Beedrill. But we win! Jesus, what the hell was that? Whipping Bell is fine. Yeah. War Turtle could be a problem. No, oh, it just went for Defense Crow. Okay, wow, that was close. We almost got defeated there. Stupid Paragon. That was so insane. Gotta deposit Clefable and release it. Bye, Clefable. Let's catch something on Route 6. Oh, a Cider. Let's weaken it. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay then, to the gym. We find the three underlings in the gym. Oh, cool, an Electabuzz. We don't see that every day. Alright, we solved the lame, stupid trash can puzzle. Potion for P drill and Charmeleon should just destroy Surge. Let's go! Level 26 Voltorb goes for X speed, of course. And Dig is a one shot. Level 25 Magnemite. We don't one shot, but Sonic Boom doesn't hurt much. 
Oh, Raichu is level 28. It knows Dust Claw and it outspeeds. But just. A crit! What the fuck? Okay, now, which starter to pick? Like there was ever a doubt. Oh, and Charmander also goes up to level 16. Awesome. Oh god, does everything have Dust Claw? It feels like every Pokemon gets Dust Claw. Anyway, Charmeleon destroys Pikachu. Charmeleon, no, this game sucks. What the hell? Well, at least Bidro defeats it. Learn Pin Missile. I don't know, who cares? Charmeleon's dead. Life is meaningless. Oh, screw you, Serge, screw you. Yeah, give me a stupid Thunderbolt TM. Uh, we need to deposit Charmeleon, guys. Bye, Charmeleon. I can't bring myself to release it. It is too sad. Okay, I remember there were some items across the cave. Let's go get them. TM33. Yeah, HM5. Why not? Look, we are already here. And what do you want? Junior trainer. This is so stupid. None of this would have happened if I was able to capture the stupid Dug Trio. Charmeleon would be still alive. Oh, an HP up. And a thunderstorm. I miss Charmeleon. Who the hell is this guy? A bug catcher. With a ponyta. And a scyther. And a pincer. Okay, th that's actually kinda cool for a bug catcher. But still, we have Gyarados. It's easy. Can we capture something in Route 11? A drowsy. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Let's just get the Farfetch'd back from the daycare. Yeah, got three levels. It's level 18. Let's teach it Flash. I miss Charmeleon. Alright guys, hope you liked the challenge so far. Let me know in the comments. Consider to like and subscribe. Okay, we are heading towards Lavender and training our Farfetch'd. It goes up to level 19 and learns Karate Chop. A duck using this move is almost as funny as a bee. TM26, Barrage. Farfetch'd is leveling up great and we battle this bug catcher. He has a bee drill. And a pincer. This Pokemon gives some great XP. And Farfetch'd learns Slash. Which is pretty cool, it's better than Karate Chop. We go into Rock Tunnel and I use Flash for the first time in forever. What do we find? A Machop. Let's weaken it. Oh, Flash is a lightning type move, which is pretty cool IMO. Better than the decreased accuracy. Let's try to capture it. We find a wild Hitmon Lee shortly after, but I'm glad we got the Machop instead. I think it's actually much better. Let's go back to heal. Would I like to donate 3000 to help seek Pokemon? Hold B while talking to the nurse. What does that do? Oh, cool, it heals much faster. That's interesting. Okay, Rock Tunnel is pretty uneventful as we battle a hiker with a Hitmonchan. Oh, and Farfetch learned Razor Leaf for some reason. It's a pretty strong move. We arrive in Lavender and head south to grind at Silence Bridge. This fisherman with the Cedra gives us a really hard time. Cedra knows Lovely Kiss and puts Bidru to sleep. Eventually, we need to switch into Farfetch'd, 
but it also gets a lovely kiss. So we need to withdraw. We actually need Gerdus to finish the job. Alright, so we are grinding, we are defeating all of the fishermen. Like this one, with a polywag. And then Machop goes up to level 28. It is evolving. Consider like and subscribe. Make sure to check out part 3. See ya!